D2D NY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now in this video, I'll be showing you how to mega test using your mega ohm meter, mega test your HVAC or your AC unit compressor. So this here is a compressor. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the mega tester or mega ohm meter and test it. And when we when it comes to mega homes or mega ohm reading, what we're really testing is the internal windings of the compressor resistance against the ground. Alright, so the copper pipe right here, these are grounded. Uh, it's, connected to, it's connected to the compressor or chassis ground. So we're testing the resistance of the internal windings against the ground. You can go the piping right here. You can go to the any metal surface. You can scratch the paint off if you want. You can go right here. Anywhere it's ground, you're testing the windings of the compressor against resistance against the ground. All right? If it's less than... Uh, 100 megs it's caution maybe you need to change the oil the system is acidic um, and if it's less than 50 well time to change the compressor the compressor is no good all right it's already ruined the winding is already the winding is already ruined so let's stay, let's get into it okay so I got my um, uh, mega home meter right here So the first thing you're going to want to do before you use your mega home meter, you're going to test with your regular voltage voltage ohm meter or your regular home meter. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to go on the resistance continuity scale where the uh, the meter beeps, it goes beep, okay, <laughs> and then what you're going to want to do is make sure your power is off main power supply is off or you can pull your fuses if you don't have a main disconnect you can just pull the fuses take the fuses out no power make sure the the compressor contactor is that on make sure it's off you see I currently pull a couple of relays to make sure that what I'm testing is not on but in addition I also have my power off okay so actually you don't need to do this just make sure the main power is off simple uh, this was for something else, but just make sure the main power is off and before you do your testing. All right, so now you want to go into continuity, and then you want to take your test leads and you want to go from the the load side, the load side of the uh, uh, contactor to ground. So you want to go from all three terminals on the load side of the contactor to ground and if it's a single phase contactor is all the two all the terminals from the load side whether it be two terminals or two wires you want to go to ground all three of them to ground and it shouldn't ring out it shouldn't beep it should show you overload like it's showing you right now all right so all three to ground and then you want to go across all three and check for continuity so you want to get the beep you want to get continuity and some resistance reading when you go when you go across all three pairs okay we're just testing our compressor windings if it's electrically sound and we're testing the resistance against the ground okay the, the wi internal compressor winding resistance against the ground so we go all three pairs All three pairs is good. All of them rings out. All of them beeps out. And I and, and my initial test, I go from all three. Well, I only go from one, but you should do all three. 
right? I go from, you know, to ground and it didn't give me no beep. So that's great. Uh, if it gives me a beep, test is already over. The compressor is bad or the wire is bad. So that is, if you, if you check from uh, any one of these three wires to ground, you get a beep. And you, don't, and you don't read overload or OL, then what you want to do, you want to go back to the compressor and then remove the wires from the compressor and verify that it is the actual, the, the, actually the compressor that's grounded and not, and not the wires. But if you're getting okay reading from here and your wires is connected to the compressor, like you see at the beginning of the video, the wires is connected to the compressor and you go on the, the load side of the contactor and you know, nothing rings out to ground then uh, you're pretty much good to go okay so now once you pass that test the first test with your regular meter regular ohm meter and you move on to the mega meter so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine to the highest scale 1000 volts output and 2000 mega ohms right that's it and I already have my uh, wire connected to the chassis ground right see that the black wire so I'm gonna use the red wire and I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my regular meter but now I'm using 1000 volts for testing I'll go ahead and set this test I remember what you want to see is above 100 megs okay so I'm going here that one that that number one on my on my meg home see it reads number one all the time ones mean that one mean overload or infinity so that's good for the next one So all three legs are all three wires, all of my three windings to ground comes back as overload or OL. Okay? So we are good to go. So I can stop my test. Okay, so yeah, for that this compressor electrically sound, right? Uh, the next phase is uh to test if it's mechanic mechanically sound and um, I'm gonna have a video of that on the description the problem with this unit right here is keep stripping the fuses keep blowing the fuses and tripping the main circuit breaker so I would have a video testing this unit if the contact if the compressor is mechanically sound or not so again I'll leave a link in that description down there to that video. Okay? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. The video is uploaded on a weekly basis.